Hey filmmakers, Jonathan here with Soundstripe. Today, we're gonna talk about bringing that cinematic look oh, into your- Dad. What? No, it's a cinematic anymore. What am I supposed to say? Like sick or tight. Okay. Today, we're gonna talk about making a sick, tight YouTube- Oh man. <laughs> What's up, filmmakers? Today we're gonna to show you how to build a YouTube setup, whether you've got 50 bucks, 500, or 5,000. Let's get to it. All right, Chris, the amount of gear we have out there today is super overwhelming, right? Yeah, there, these companies come out with new cameras every year. There's new uh, lighting technologies that happen all the time. It's hard to keep up with it. Yeah, even the, the updates on the gear that you do. Um, right. Like, can't even, like who updates anyways? <laughs> I have Ronin, my Ronin One that I still have never updated. <laughs> Today, we're gonna talk about all the different ways you can build a perfect for you home YouTube kit. Whether it's on a budget of $50, $500, or $5,000, there's lots of ways to do this. The important thing to remember here is that this is not an instructional video. You don't have to get this year exactly. Find out what works for you in your unique situation. So that's kind of the point, is we're gonna show you some different options, but look around, ask friends, see what works best for you. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, you know the drill. Before we go any further, like this video, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment, and stick around to the end to see how you might win a free year of Soundstripe. Before you ever get into that B&H wish list, gotta answer the question, what am I making? Because there's lots of different style vlogs to do. You could be making a travel vlog, a docu-style. You could be interviewing hometown heroes. Maybe you just wanna make amazing cat videos. They're Aren't all... you allergic to cats? Yes. I'm not a cat video guy, it's okay. But regardless, every setup has lots of different options, right? And it's really gonna come down to what works best for you. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten gear, messed with it, tried it out, returned it two days later because it just wasn't the right fit. Totally okay. Once you've got a good sense of what you think might work best for you, you can also go watch what other people are doing in your genre, right? Are they shooting inside, outside? Are they going handheld gimbal? There's so many different great videos out there from other YouTubers that are doing amazing things. Today, we're gonna make a pretty multi-purpose kit to use at your house for a vlog setup, right? So real foundational baseline stuff at all the different price points. Fifty, five oh halfway to 100, right? This is the perfect place to jump in and take your first swing at some YouTube content with really low commitment. And we can actually make it sound and look pretty good. So what are we using? Well, to start, we're using the phone that was in my pocket, right? And I know that's not less than $50, okay? But we're assuming you've got a smartphone of some sort that's got a pretty decent camera on it. Throw it up, it's gonna give you great quality to start out. Uh, and pretty good audio too, right? We also got this ring light and this little Joby tripod, both about 25 bucks off Amazon. And then we downloaded a free iPhone app. Uh, we're using Mavis for this. It just gives you a bit more control than the built-in uh, controls that are already on your smartphone. All in though, we're still under 50 bucks and we got a great looking image. <laughs> Scratch off you got at the gas station, boom, 500 bucks, here we are. Or maybe you just saved up because you're ready to take the next step. $500 can get you a step up on the rig and you can really amp things up really nicely. So here's what we're working with. First off, we got the Canon T3i, right? We bought it used on eBay for like 250 bucks. It's a great little camera. You can get more manual control than you can on a phone. Right? You can do interchangeable lenses, lots of good options. Second, we went with a bigger, more adaptable ring light. We can do some different gels. We can do daylight or tungsten. It's bigger, it's got better spread, more control, right? Just helps you make a better looking space. And lastly, and probably most important for the next step up in this range, is you get to improve your audio quality. So we've got the Deity Duo on here, which is an incredible vlogging mic. It's about 90, 100 bucks, and you can use it both ways, right? So I'm in front of the camera, it's got a mic coming this way, but it's also got a mic on the back, so if you're uh, you know, filming outwards, you can still record your audio really clean. We spent 500 bucks on a few different things, and now we've got a really great looking and great sounding video. We 
we've added another zero. We're at the $5,000 level. And as you can see, we can do a lot with that budget. To start, we've upgraded our camera to the Canon EOS R, which is a mirrorless and it's fantastic. It gives you lots of upgraded capabilities. We've also got the Sigma 18 to 35 on there. It's an incredible lens, super versatile, and great for these small, tight setups. We've got, as you can see, very largely in the shot, <laughs> we've got the Shure SM7B microphone, right? This is an aesthetic choice as much as it is a quality choice. And so you don't have to use the big mic in camera, but that is something people are doing. And it's kind of a cool crossover between YouTube and podcast. We're running that through a Zoom H4n Pro to do our, our audio intake. And then from a lighting perspective, I have no idea. So I'm gonna let Chris talk to you about that. For our key light source, we've got the Aperture 120D with the dome. We've got a fill light over here, which is the Young Nuo RGB. And we've got these two Aperture MCs, which are omni-colored and magnetic, so you can stick them to metal surfaces, and they're great little colored LED lights. Clearly, there's a lot of different ways you can go depending on your budget range, your preference, and the style of content you're making. Regardless, you can make something that looks and sounds really great at all different budget ranges. Let us know in the comments what your setup looks like, and we're gonna pick one person to win a free year of Soundstripe. Thanks for watching.